Latest numbers from Pierce County show what Gig Harbor has been dealing with this year. From January through October, there have been a total of 965 crimes reported in city limits. The worst month was this past March, with 123 reports of criminal activity. The average for the year is over 96 crimes per month. So now the question is, what do the people living in Gig Harbor think about this, and what is law enforcement doing to put this to a stop? Fox 13's Zach Anders joins us now from Gig Harbor. Zach, you spoke with the chief of police today. What is he saying about all of this? Yeah, those in law enforcement continue to tell me the same things that last year's legislative session ushered in major changes in police policy. The Blake decision decriminalized the simple possession of drugs and two police reform policies changed use of force and police pursuit policies. Because it's scary for homeowners that live around here and just people walking up and down the street. Gig Harbor is often one of the best communities to live in Washington, but some residents say they don't feel as safe with crime growing in their community. Our yearly totals of motor vehicle thefts uh, were once three or four, not that many years ago. Now we're experiencing that every week. The city's police chief, Kelly Busey, says he wants to fix it, but he's been handcuffed by the law. I don't recognize the state of law enforcement sometimes right now. I can't believe that we're pulling people out of stolen cars and not taking them to jail. I can't believe that we're allowing drug offenders, waking people up from a fentanyl-induced sleep and sending them on their way. Last year, when the legislator passed the so-called police pursuit law, House Bill 1054, it limited an officer's ability to pursue suspects based on the type of crime committed. State law is very uh, specific in the crimes that we can pursue a vehicle for. It's violent crimes, sex crimes, and in a limited instance, if we suspect that the vehicle driver is impaired. But not property crime. For example, last week early in the morning, thieves caught with a loaded up U-Haul. There wasn't much officers could do. If there's no other vehicles on the road and we're fleeing the scene of a commercial burglary, we should be able to pursue that a little bit. That threat has to be there. It's incidents like this that have longtime residents on edge. The cops don't have the same power they used to have. I would think the police people, you know, the department would want to have the same power they used to have. A lot of officers are discouraged. They want to protect their communities. We want to protect Gig Harbor, make it the safe place that it has always been. But it's frustrating when we see criminals flaunting the laws, being able to drive away. And Chief Busey tells me it's becoming really obvious that the criminals know they won't be chased. They'll give an obscene gesture as they drive right past stationary police vehicles. These crimes can happen right in front of the officers, and if they're in a vehicle, there's nothing they can do to stop them and arrest them. Reporting Gig Harbor, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.